video editing, motion design, compositing. While building a computer for video editing workloads, the VRAM required is highly dependent on the type of software you use. Video editing applications like Premiere Pro do not make use of GPU acceleration to such an extent that increasing the VRAM would significantly improve performance. Instead, choosing a graphics card with better processing performance will yield better results. We recommend buying a graphics card with up to 8GB of VRAM for Premiere Pro, and even a budget consumer GPU should be fine for this workload. Summary, VRAM requirements for video editing applications like Premiere Pro. A GPU with 4 to 8 gigabytes of VRAM, example GTX 1660 Super, RTX 2060 Super, RTX 3070. For those interested in building a workstation PC for video editing software like DaVinci Resolve or Fusion that make heavy use of your graphics card to function, ensuring you have the right amount of VRAM can significantly improve overall rendering and playback performance. Running multi GPUs is possible as well, which can reduce render times even further. We recommend a graphics card with at least 6 to 8 gigabytes of VRAM and a decent amount of processing power for editing 1080p or 2160p footage on a full HD timeline. If you plan to work with footage resolutions at 4K or greater and need to work with a high resolution 4K timeline, then investing in a graphics card with at least 8 gigabytes of VRAM is recommended. Because DaVinci Resolve makes excellent use of additional VRAM, Going with a graphics card with more memory would give you the flexibility to work with higher-res footage and timelines in the future. Summary, VRAM requirements for GPU-dependent video editing applications. 1080p or 2K footage with full HD timeline, a GPU with 6 to 8 gigabytes of VRAM, example. RTX 2060 Super, RTX 3070. 4K footage with QHD timeline, a GPU with 8 to 11 gigabytes of RAM example. RTX 2080T, RTX 3080. 4K plus footage with 4K timeline, one or multiple GPUs with 16 to 24 gigabytes of VRAM, example RTX 4090 or Quadro RTX 6000. While the system requirements for motion design and compositing software like After Effects heavily favor the CPU and amount of system memory, they use graphics acceleration for specific features like GPU accelerated effects. We recommend targeting 8 GB of VRAM unless you plan to work in higher resolutions and bit depths or use After Effects in conjunction with 3D rendering plugins like Cineware or GPU accelerated third party plugins such as Neat Video Denoise, that depend more heavily on the graphics card's performance and VRAM capacity. Summary VRAM requirements for motion design and composting workloads. Baseline requirements. A GPU with 6 to 8 GB of VRAM, example GTX 1660 Super, RTX 2060 Super. Moderate 3D rendering and GPU accelerated plugins, a GPU with 8 to 11 GB of VRAM, example, RTX 3060, RTX 3070. Heavy 3D rendering. And GPU accelerated plugins, a GPU with 11 to 24 GB of VRAM, example, RTX 3080 Ti. RTX 4090. We will continue about GPU VRAM videos, please wait for it. We will discuss all area about VRAM. Thanks for watching.